Hey guys, my name is Bobby and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be going book shopping, heading into the works, maybe Waterstones, I don't know, but that's it. So let's go. Okay, I'm not at the bus stop, so now I'm just going to the bus. Come in, come on. So now we're taking the long walk to the works. Okay, I didn't know what to put here, so um, walking, walking, woohoo! We're going to the works! Ah, there's the works! Yay! Oh, they have it! They have it. <laughs> they have it. Okay, so I've got things for my hide from Wallaby. My bag is getting super heavy, so I got other stuff as well. So, um, I'm gonna head to Waterstones um, and then get something to eat and then head back. I'm taking a detour, I just see Dummy this week and they've actually had some good books. So, I'm gonna go in and have a look. Bookshop in Dummy Hits is upstairs. I've been Oh, I never did talk about a bookshop. Okay, let's see what they have. So they've got like a bunch of books here, off to here. There's still like, there's so many. I wasn't expecting that at all. They've got The Inheritance Games, The Something Kingdom, uh, Six of Crows. They've got quite a good selection. I've got this book table here. I just spotted a book that I hate love of the brain by Ali Hazelwood. I didn't read that at all. We've got book lovers. Um, we've got a bunch of book books. <laughs> okay, you can't really see it in my face, but when I was filming that bit, the guy sneeze gave me the biggest fright of my life. I'm not joking. It's like a dad sneeze. It went, ABOW! <laughs> gave me the biggest fright of my life. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me in any of these clips. I'm like putting up the volume because I speak so quiet. So I'm sorry about that. And then around here we've got like more horror and cyber fiction, fantasy, uh, Stephen King, oh Lord of the Rings. I saw the big thief over there in the original cover. There's a big thief. I think that's the original cover. Um, a good selection, but I've not seen anything that I fancy. Well, I'm to leave. They did have a good book selection, like they had to play fantasy classics, but not books. But I didn't find anything that I liked, so we're gonna go to Waterstones. Okay, I'm in Waterstones. Let's have a look at what they got. Okay, so I'm at the young adult. I've, I haven't seen most of these books. This looks cute, I really like the cover of this. It's a, it's a whole like section of books. There's Charmy. I love Charmy. If you've ever read the Charmy series, go read it. You will love it. They've got this one. This one was really good. That was a plot twist. I wasn't expecting that. That one was a really good. That was like a thriller. Oh my goodness, I've got more of the Charmy series. Yay. Good Girl's Guide to Murder. That whole series is really good. They've got Twisted Love and Twisted Lies. I love that series so much. Twisted Love was a bit cringe but it's a very good series. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, they've got Icebreaker. I'm currently reading that. It's good. It's really good. They've got Colleen Hoover. Oh they've got How to Call Your Family. Let me just say when I picked it up my um my parent, my mother, they were, and my brother they were concerned. They thought I was going to kill them. I still haven't read that book. I don't know if I ever will. But let me just say they were concerned. They've got A Little Life. I've got that book. I don't know when I'm going to read it. So I heard it's so sad and heartbreaking. So I don't think I'm going to read it. I can't put myself through that. They've got the fine print. I love that series. I'm sorry about this cover. I don't know what it's about. I think it's a fantasy. But the cover is I could spend hours in here, like... This isn't good. I need to just pick a book and go. I'm in the horror book 
section, I found this. I've seen this on TikTok and I might get it. Um, it's about guys who eat, this person who eats human meat. I think, I don't know. Because I was so quiet and it was too loud outside, you couldn't hear me. Basically I said, I left Waterstones without getting anything because I don't know why I do this, but if I go into a bookshop and I don't find anything, I still want to get a book for some reason, I don't know. But I pushed through, I didn't get myself a book and I left. So now I'm going to McDonald's. Okay, here's me walking back from Waterstones and then I had some McDonald's, it was delicious. Okay, I'm back. I couldn't vlog on the bus because there were way too many people. So, I got myself one book. This is good, right? This is a huge accomplishment because when I go book shopping, I, I get myself a bunch of books. It's not good. I got myself one book, Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. And then also, this is the first book, uh, Things We Never Got Over. So I'll tell you about both. First one, um, bearded bad boy Barbara Knox prefers to live his life the way he takes his coffee. Alone. Unless you count his bass at Hound Waylon. Knox doesn't tolerate drama, even when it comes in the form of a stranded runaway bride. Naomi wasn't just running away from her wedding, she was riding to to the rescue of her to the rescue of her twin to Knockmount, Virginia, a rough around the edges town where disputes are settled the old fashioned way, with fists and a beer, usually in that order. Too bad for Naomi, her evil twin hasn't changed at all. After helping herself to Naomi's car and cash, Tina leaves her with something unexpected. The niece Naomi didn't know she had. Now she's stuck in a town with no car, no job, no plan, and no home with an 11 year old going on 30 to take care of. There's a reason Knox doesn't do complications or high maintenance women, especially not the romantic ones. But since Naomi's life imploded imploded right in front of him the least he can do is help her out of her jam and just as soon as she stops getting into new trouble and he can leave her alone and gets back to his peaceful sorority solitary life at least that's the plan until the trouble turns into real danger this sounds interesting i really need to read it because it sounds good things we hide from the light police chief nash morgan is known for two things being a good guy and the way his uniform accentuates accentuates his rear end great star but two bullets for a dent in his southern charm and now he's facing a criminal still on the loose and a town full of citizens that consider the law more of a guideline the last thing he needs is the leggy smart mouth lena lena solvita i don't know moving in next door making him feel he doesn't have the making him feel things he doesn't have the energy to feel Lena is on a mission. As soon as she gets what she's after, she has no intention of sticking around. The town of Knockmount has other ideas. Soon she finds herself sucked into a small town life, dog sitting, saying yes to a bridesmaid dress, listening to se listening to the sexy chief of police in the shower. All right. But when Nash discovers Lena's secret, these friends become furious enemies. Though the sparks flying between them don't know the difference between love and hate. So, I don't know when I'm going to read these, but I'm very, very excited to read these. Um, so the next few videos that are supposed to come, hopefully, um, I need to do, I need to short out my, short? I need to short, short, short. I need to short out my books. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, I have three videos I need to do. So I need to sort out my bookshelves, that's number one, do a February reading wrap up, and to all the books I want to read in March. That's three videos that should be coming, hopefully, over the next few weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed me going into City Centre and getting books, getting a book, exploring the works of Waterstones and just exploring Bath in general. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!